Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import your text, uh, change your logo. Uh, yeah, same as always, uh, real simple. I try to keep my project as simple as possible so you can just uh, import your stuff and change your text, and you can just render and be finished with it. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you all guys will like this. I really enjoyed working uh, on this project. Uh, I hope it shows, and uh, I, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I hope you uh, like it too. Uh, thanks again for purchasing. Uh, let's start. So what you do is you simply when you open up the project file, it look like this, and um, all the yellow layers are um, not supposed to be edited, and all the orange ones are supposed to be edited. So it's real easy mode. You simply go to the first title here where it's orange. You double click on it, and here you see the text layer, and I have an alpha mat, but uh, don't worry about that. You shouldn't. Uh, that's just a text uh, transition. So you simply double click this layer, go to a point where you see the layer, uh, see the text, double click it and you type in whatever you like and uh, it will get updated. So whatever you type, it, uh, it works. Just make sure it fits in this, uh, in this box. And if you, um, if you want to have longer texts or whatever or smaller, you can just scale up and scale down. There are no keyframes on the scale positions whatsoever, so there's no problem. So yeah, that's that. Uh, same uh, applies for the rest of them. All the orange layers, so second title, third title, uh, fourth title, somehow it is not orange. Let me change that right now. Yeah, so you simply double click on those and you're finished. Now, what I've done, I've uh, the, f the original one is with the ending text, uh, this is our life, the sixth title. But what I did is an optional, uh, if you want to have your logo at the end, you simply turn off these with the eye and turn on this one and yeah, you see you have um, a logo at the end that's pretty cool uh, if you have your reasons to use it then uh, please do so the same thing applies there here's the orange layer double click on it here's your uh, here's the logo you have to replace uh, because the Envato logo is originally a bit dark I applied a ramp effect to it so you can just uh, shut that off if yours are, is bright already or you want to maintain your colors and uh, what you do is you right click here you choose import file and you import your uh, logo when you do that you simply hold this uh, select this layer select the logo you imported so let's say I import another logo and it's called this one you hold alt button and you drag and drop on top of this one and it will get automatically updated everything works and it's just fine if you go back to the main composition you can see it will get all get updated and it will all work and uh, yeah so real simple I um, hope you guys will enjoy it uh, that's it really nothing much more to say All, only if you want to render it I have some uh, render presets here so if you want full HD you simply double click this one and you render this uh, comp out from 720p double click here you render that one out same goes for the other ones so real easy uh, if you have any other questions or requests uh, please feel free to contact me through my uh, profile or through my site uh, aepal.com 